Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review of one of my favorite things, shoes. I partnered up with Vivaya to talk through and review eight pairs of shoes from the brand which I've been putting to the test over the past few months and I have to say they are just so ridiculously comfortable. You may recall I recently partnered with them on a video where I talked through the power of a pair of shoes and how they can really transform an outfit and convey a different sort of message or vibe that you're looking for. I'm going to link that up in the cards up here if you would like to go and have a little bit of a watch. I've been continuing to wear those four pairs in addition to four new styles and I want to share a little bit about the brand for those of you who may have missed that one or aren't familiar with them. Vivaya is a sustainable footwear brand which is really eco-conscious at its core. Now this is the cool part. Every single pair of shoes that they design and manufacture is made using the yarn from six recycled plastic bottles. I really love seeing that a single-use item is being repurposed to create something that is really really stylish and also really functional and comfortable as well. Each pair of shoes is created using a zero waste design process and manufactured with 3D technology and they all come in 100% recycled cardboard boxes as well which can then go on to be recycled again to have another life. The really unique thing about the Vias shoes is the fact that every single pair is knitted so they have this really lovely textural component which makes them more visually interesting and you'll see depending on the style they will have a slightly different knitted texture which is really fun and I highly recommend going and having a little peek on the website to have a look. Now some of the other things that I wanted to mention about the shoes is that certain styles do have other yarns blended in so the Aria 5 which is going to be the first pair that I'm going to review they have cotton and hemp blended into the fabric so hemp is an amazing material as it requires very little water to grow and it is naturally moisture wicking it is odor resistant mold resistant and the great thing is that you can just throw these shoes into the washing machine as well so they're very very carefree and very easy to maintain and look after as we go through each pair I will talk about the sizing which I know many of you will be very curious about especially if you do have wide feet like me I'm also going to have some outfit ideas as well so that you can get a little bit of inspiration on how to style them and I do also have a discount code for 15% off site wide so if you do feel like purchasing a pair of their shoes or you've been planning on it then you can get a little bit of a savings on your order the code is MJ15 I'm going to have it here on the screen and all of those details will be in the description box along with all of the different styles that I am sharing with you today. I really want to start with what I think is Vivaya's hero shoe. They're called the Aria 5 and I have them in the espresso color. This is what they look like and they have quite a tightly woven texture to them. These are kind of your classic pointed toe flat and as I mentioned before the Aria 5 is blended with cotton and hemp so super easy to care for. Uh, I haven't actually thrown mine in the wash yet as I haven't gotten them dirty at all but I have been wearing these loads. They're actually shaping up to be one of my most worn shoes of the winter because I love the darker neutral brown and they're kind of very easy to just slip on. They almost feel like wearing slippers. The actual weight of them is really, really light. So these are a great one if you want to take a chic but comfortable shoe if you're traveling and you want to put it in your suitcase but don't want anything that is too bulky or heavy. They are quite malleable and uh, flexible which you can see here the sole is super duper flexible on these which makes them great for walking around in all days and I have not gotten a single blister any of the times that I've worn these and I've actually worn them on my regular walks where I'm doing 5,000 plus steps in one go so these have been such an amazing winner in my wardrobe and one of the things that I like about them being knitted is that Often I find with a pointed toe flat, you do get creasing along the vamp here, along the front of the shoe. Being knitted, this isn't something that is really visually obvious and I think you could easily use a steamer if there was any kind of creasing that bothered you, which I think is great. Uh, I did mention this on my blog review, which I will link those down in the description box as well actually, if you'd like to read through them, that the actual sole on these is a little bit on the narrow side. I haven't found that this bothers me because they aren't too narrow for me width wise, which is really the bigger concern when it comes to adding shoes like this and especially pointed toe shoes 
issues to my wardrobe. In terms of sizing, I opted for my true size, which is a European 40. I find that this is actually a really great size for me in these shoes. The reason why these are called the Aria 5 is that based on the original Aria style, these have a five degree additional width across the foot. So you do have that extra room. So they really are designed especially for those who do have slightly wider feet. Though if you have narrow feet, you are perfect in these two. And I love the fact that they have the extra cushioning in them as well. It gives you extra support when you are walking a considerable distance. So those are fabulous. I don't know if I mentioned, but I've got the espresso color and they come in, I think 19 different color options. So there's kind of something to suit everyone. Lots of classic neutrals, but also some brights as well. Okay, next let's talk about a style that you won't have seen me mention before. These ones are the Melia pointed toe striped flats. So what you'll notice about these differing from the Aria 5 is that they have this really cool striped knit texture to them. And these are actually a Dorze flat. So you'll see that they have this cutout detail here, which I really like. I think that it's an interesting take on a pointed toe flat. It makes them feel a little bit more elevated and just like the previous ones, I think that these are a really good option for the office. These ones differ from the Aria 5 in a few other ways. The sole is a lot more robust and sturdy, so you'll see it doesn't quite have that same flexible nature. I do you find there's a very, very little heel? And also the padding on the base of the shoe as well is a little bit more rigid. It still gives you that support, but it isn't kind of pillow like or cloud like like you would get with the Aria 5 so I do want to highlight that and for that reason I do think that these are much more of a formal shoe something that is really going to elevate your outfits again I took these in my usual size EU 40 and I find that they are a good fit for me I don't know that going up a size would necessarily be a good thing maybe my heel might slip out if I did uh, I don't really find that they are too narrow for me across the foot which is really the pressure point and kind of the barometer for me when it comes to deciding whether a shoe is too small or not. These are actually the ones that I have on my feet today. Uh, but yeah, I think they're really, really chic. And as mentioned, I think these would be a really, really great one for the office as well. And hopefully you can see here, they've got that padded cushioning here at the back of the heel as well, which gives you that little bit of additional support. Okay, let's move on to a pair of loafers. Now these are called the Donna Pointed Toe Bow Loafers. I almost like to think of these as my Aladdin slippers just because of the silhouette, but the striking detail about these is that they have the bow across the vamp here instead of your classic strap, which you might often get on a loafer. And for me, what really drew me to this particular style is the fact that there is that balance of masculinity being a loafer mixed in with feminine elements so the bow and also the pointed toe now one of the things i really like about pointed toe shoes is that they are visually elongating so they will make your legs appear longer especially if you're wearing trousers or a skirt in the same sort of color so you're getting this one column of color going down which just visually draws the eye down and does have this illusion of length the knitted texture on these is a lot more flat which hopefully will come across in video otherwise you should be able to get a close-up look on the website and these have that same super flexible sole as the Aria 5s uh, they do have a little bit more structure at the heel uh, but I don't find that it rubs or anything like that I have worn these quite a bit out and about and they've been really really comfortable um, I haven't really noticed any major creasing or anything across the toe which is great and in terms of sizing I actually went up a full size to a 41. I did initially feel that they felt a little bit tight across the foot but wearing them for one full day the knitted yarn it has given and now I don't find that there's any sort of uh, tension or anything like that across my foot. There's no discomfort and there never was when I even when I first tried them on. I do have a pair of these in an EU 40 but they were just a smidge too small so I have a little bit of a bonus giveaway here for any anyone who is a size European 39 and has wide feet let me know in the comment section below if you would love to snap up a pair of these shoes uh, alternatively if you are a true 40 but with narrow feet then they would also be a great fit for you so yeah leave a comment down below saying that you'd like to go into win a pair of these shoes uh, but yeah a little bonus giveaway for you guys there uh, if you do have narrow feet then I definitely think that these do fit more true to size it's just the fact that with a pointed toe shoe quite often and you have a little bit less room in the toe box area so you need to keep that in mind that the shoe is going to be able to accommodate that width across the foot so yeah definitely go up a size if you have wide feet like me 
Um, next pair of shoes I want to talk about are the Melody Square Chunky Heel. Now these are a really good little classic option for the office. They have that modernity with having the square off toe and then the block heel is really really comfortable, really easy to walk in as well and you kind of see it's got this curved design and I like the fact that even though the toe is square, it's also got the curved edges as well, so it does feel really soft. This has, similar to the Melia stripe pumps, it has that striped effect, striped grain texture to it, which is really uh, fun. And then you've got the contrast tighter knit around the edge of the shoe. And of course you have the embroidered V here on the heel. And every single pair of shoes does have this little embroidered V to signify the via. Now I got these in my usual size EU40 and I find that they fit really, really comfortably. Though my toes are quite high up in the toe box area. It doesn't feel like it's too snug and for me I'm quite happy with the way that they fit. However, I do think if you have a wider foot you may like to potentially go up a size in these. I think you can go either way. So it really depends on if you want to have a little bit more room at your toes in terms of length as opposed to width or if you're quite happy whether your toes sort of reach near towards the end of the shoe or not. Um, Again, I just think these are such a little classic to have in your workwear wardrobe uh, and being a really nice neutral, I've had a lot of fun playing around with these and they're definitely a great one even if you're sort of running to catch the bus or the train you won't have any issues and they do have that nice little padded section here at the back that I keep mentioning as well for that additional heel support and comfort. These shoes are definitely the ones that I was the most excited to unbox. They're called the Leah Slingback Heels and I opted for them in the navy. They do also come in classic black and I think they came in a cream as well. There's a few different color options and this is quite a richly saturated navy color. Uh, I really like navy because I think it is a great alternative to black especially if you have a fairer complexion. It is less high contrast, but it is still a way to incorporate those darker tones into your wardrobe. And that was one of the reasons why I wanted to get them in navy because I think also it's fun to do a full monochromatic look. And yeah, I love wearing navy shoes with, to kind of complete that as opposed to a black option. I don't know how well it will show up on camera again because they're a darker shoe, but they have the most beautiful knitted texture. It's really different to all of the other styles and slightly unusual in that way. It's not quite honeycomb-esque, but you will see that there is a little bit of an open knit design to it which is really nice and then at the actual toe where there is this toe cap design it is more of a tightly woven knit now being a slingback shoe I actually would recommend if you have a narrow foot sizing down one just to ensure that you've got security with the strap at the back of your heel if you have wide feet stick with your usual size because I've not had any issues with these slipping off my foot Again, I really like the heel height on them. I think that it is reasonable, it gives you that really nice literal visual height, but then also it is really comfortable as well. It isn't the type of thing that uh, feels cumbersome and I don't really find that the heel drags down or anything like that when I am walking around because that is something that you can sometimes get with a slingback pump like this. And again, another little detail that I like on these is the squared off vamp here as well across the foot. I just think that that adds that really nice little touch of modernity. Again, so as mentioned for the sizing, I did take these in a European 40 and I found that they fit really perfect on my wide feet. These are so incredibly comfortable as they have a really super soft but thick yarn. So a total winner, really, really gorgeous. And if you've been looking for something like this, I think they're a really great option for the summer because they do have the open knit, so they are going to be incredibly breathable. This next pair of shoes is, to me, the perfect pair of everyday black ballet pumps. They're called the Mini Pointed Toe Everyday Flats. So again, these do differ to the Aria 5 flats in a few different ways. One, the sole is a bit more rigid. It's got more structure to it. It has this really cute little low block heel. So it gives you just this teensy weensy little bit of height. I do find that the toe is a little bit more squared off on these. And then they do have the cushioning, the padding and the sole, but it isn't a removable insole like on the Aria 5. This one here is actually attached to the base of the shoe. Now, I think that these are just so incredibly stylish and they're just chic. They feel very Parisian. Uh, for me, a really good reflection of my own personal style as well and the type of thing that I like to reach for every single day. On sizing, now I have these in a European 40 and again, I will keep mentioning this, but I do have wider feet and I do think I would have been better served with a European 41. Uh, I don't have any issues wearing them, but they do just feel a little bit more on the snug side. So 
uh, a little bit more restrictive than say a European 41 would be. So if you do have a wider foot, I would highly recommend sizing up in these. If you have narrow feet, I think you can stick with your usual size. But yeah, they're just a brilliant little shoe and they also come in a cream color as well, I believe. So you can have both ends of the color spectrum so you can do your neutrals and then you can do your darker looks. But black, they go with absolutely everything. So I personally adore these and I would say in addition to the Aria 5 these are probably my favorite of the bunch. The next style I think is probably going to be a bit of a Marmite one and I think it's because they're just really an unusual shoe and this is one of the things I like about Vivaya is that they've got some really different silhouettes and styles so there's going to kind of be something that will suit everybody. So these are called the Caitlin Square Toe Knot Loafers and obviously the really uh, defining feature of these is the braided detail across the foot. I have these in the gray, which is sort of a mild charcoal, which I think, again, is another thing that helps keep these feel really, really visually interesting. These do also have the squared off toe and they have a very, very low block heel to them as well. So you get a little bit of additional height. The sole on these is again, that more rigid defined sole. So you're not gonna get the same flex that you get with the Aria 5s. Uh, and they do have a lot more structure to them. I do find that this particular pair does fit a little bit more on the narrow side. So if you do have a wider foot, then you may want to size up to the 41. Um, I haven't got any issues. I've got them in the European 40, but it's just more of a question of, do you want to have that immediate uh, additional room? As I do feel like these have a little bit less give to them than perhaps some of the other styles. But yeah, I think these are really fun, really different, and they do mix, again, those really masculine details with a little bit more of a feminine component with that braided effect across the foot. So those are the braided loafers. The final pair of shoes that I want to share are called the Jade Square Toe Slide Heels. So these are your classic mules with that knitted panel across the foot as the uh, strap. And you'll kind of see here that there's almost an asymmetric detail with how the strap crosses over, which I think is really, really beautiful. I have them in this lovely nude, but they do come in, I believe, six different colors, including some really beautiful pastels and brights. So you don't necessarily have to go with something really classic. You can go with something that's really vibrant and fun, especially if you are into that dopamine dressing uh, trend. I think having a really bright and punchy shoe is a fun way to add in some color to your outfit, especially if you tend to wear a lot of neutrals like I do. The place these have in my wardrobe is as a going out shoe. And I really love these because you've got the simplicity of just slipping them on and then having your outfit complete and finished. Being a nude, they really just elongate my legs, make them look longer, kind of being a similar tone to my complexion. Uh, and they're really, really comfortable as well. I find the heel height on them. And this is really a running thread with all of the heel shoes that I've got from Vivaya. The shoes are not astronomically high. So they have a reasonable heel height, sort of a mid heel. So you get the height, but then you've still got the comfort because you don't have that ridiculous extension on your arch, which puts a lot of pressure on your heel and the ball of your foot. So with this, your weight is really evenly dispersed across the shoe. And I find that's one of the things that makes a mid heel like this really comfortable. I really like the architectural detail as well that you've got on the heel too where it is kind of angled and squared off I just think that's another really interesting component um, but yeah I just think these are really sweet I went with my usual size which is an EU 40 and I do recommend regardless of whether you've got wide feet or narrow feet sticking with your usual size I think these ones fit true to size so yeah, that is the final pair that I wanted to mention. I hope that this was a really, really helpful resource for any of you who have been considering purchasing a pair of shoes from Vivaya. It's really fun to kind of go in depth and share a little bit more about each particular style so that you get a bit of more of a close up look at them. As I said earlier, I will also link the blog reviews that I did down in the description box below because I think those could be an additional helpful resource. I do also have 15% off site-wide at Vivaya using the code MJ15. It's going to be on screen. All of that information is going to be down in the description box along with links to all of the shoes that I featured today. Thank you so much for watching. I do want to know if you have a favorite pair of shoes or if you have purchased from Vivaya before, then I would love to know which pair of shoes you added to your wardrobe and in what color as well. Please tell me in the comment section thank you so much for watching for spending some of your day with me as always i really really appreciate it i appreciate you i will see you next time with a brand new video see you very soon bye